the Kenya police force has arrested me four times illegally. What I'm doing, I'm doing it for Kenyans and I'm not doing it for me. Things are bad in this country to a point that even civil servants have not been paid. Things are bad in this country to a point that children are going without food up to four days in a row. Things are bad in this country. At the same time, electricity is high. There is no hunger. There is no help. Petrol is high. Things are bad in this country. And the Kenya police have arrested me four times illegally. My demonstrations have been peaceful and I've always done them alone. No property has ever been destroyed during my demonstration. Nobody has ever been injured during my demonstration. No business has ever been closed during my demonstration. I have even notified the police, but they've still gone ahead and arrested me four times illegally. And they take up to nine, sometimes 11 hours, not knowing what to charge me with because there's usually none. You are breaking the law because according to the constitution of this nation, I have the right, like any other Kenyan, to picket, to demonstrate, and to associate. But you have infringed on my rights. You have arrested me four times illegally. You have tortured me psychologically. And have put my life on the life of this nation. You are killing me the man who is ready to lose his life for this nation. Arrest me one more time. And you will regret it. You may think you are powerful because you are the government. I just call it. You may think I am an individual and you have the structures and the systems. Arrest me one more time. Put your hands on my body one more time. Put your cuffs in my hands one more time. And you will regret it today. This man 
have tortured me and Kenya so laughing. And before they arrest me, they're enjoying it. What have, I, what have I ever done that has destroyed anybody's business? I've talked to my mother. I've talked to my family. And I've let them know that if you arrest me one more time, they should not be surprised. Go to the world. I promise you, as far as the God is living and I am alive, you will regret no government is more powerful than the people. You will listen to us. All right. Sorry. Don't play politics with our lives. Mm -hmm. They want to change the narrative. Mm -hmm. From high cost of living, kuchoma vitu zawatu, kufight with the raila, so that conversation changes, agenda. It will not change if any command is alive. You will have to kill me. It will not change. I will shout on top of the mountain. The conversation is not about Uru's land. It does not feed us. The conversation is not about Raila's gas. It does not feed us. You are millions. This conversation is about poverty and children who are out of school without food. You will not silence that conversation. It will never change. We will shout and the more you push us to the wall, I promise you, as far as the God is living and I am alive, you will regret no government. Is more powerful than the people. You will listen to us. All right. Kido! 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 This has to go through the microphone. This is what has been happening for years since 1963. They must listen. Don't shut me up. Let me talk. Don't ever shut me up. You will not change the conversation. People are suffering. As long as this God sits on the throne, you will listen to us.